Hi, Dino. Good to see you. Hi, Paul. Good. Thank you. So welcome. Good morning. Welcome to VMworld 2009. As you're hearing now and you'll through the rest of the week, cloud computing is changing the way that we manage resources and drive business. So one of the aspects of cloud computing is the ability to migrate workloads from one location to another. VMware has introduced the ability to migrate workloads within a data center about six years ago with vMotion. And what we're going to demonstrate here today is the ability to migrate workloads over a network that represents distances between data centers and from data centers up to cloud service providers. So there are many reasons why people like this capability of moving workloads around. Within the traditional enterprise data center, people liked it because they could take a workload from an over, overly busy server, move it to one that was less busy without interrupting the application. The key point is this happens without the application stopping. Exactly. Uh, or they could move it to, to another server to take that server out of service and do maintenance on it and bring it back up again. Now, we're looking at this capability for more advanced uses. So we're looking at this where people could move workloads to get capacity, uh, as was mentioned earlier, with if they need the capacity or they could use it because they're going to take that data center out of service, yep. or they can even move it because they have a disaster and the whole thing is about to disappear or whatever. Exactly. And so there's a lot of reasons why this ability to move workloads around is going to be critical in the future, not only within a data center, but between data centers. Mm -hmm. So what we can show you here is, uh, what you're seeing on the screen now is our management interface that we use to manage our software. So this is called Virtual Center. This rides on top of and is part of the vSphere architecture that we have. So within Virtual Center here, we see it managing actually two data centers. One that we have is shown here as San Jose and one that we see here as Sacramento. Now to get a sense as to how much time it takes data to actually move from some data center in San Jose up to a data center in Sacramento, we can do what we call a simple ping test. So this is just a network tool that you can click and it'll ping out and, and it'll send a packet of data out and back and it'll measure the time. And we see here it's about four and a half milliseconds of time that it takes. And all things being equal, that's about 200 kilometers or about 125 miles. So in our data center, we actually have a database server that we have under load. So what we're doing here is we're just, we have a database server. It's doing about uh, 240, 240. So, so we're hours. simulating a load on a database yep. server here. And you're seeing the operations per second that it's performing there. Uh, whatever it is per unit time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just the number of operations that this is, is doing per time. So what we're going to do actually is migrate uh, the server from the San Jose data center up to the Sacramento data center. So this could be because for whatever reason we need to get that application load and move it somewhere. It could be less loaded, could be more reliable, yep. whatever. But we don't want to bring the service down. We don't want to cut the users off while this happens. Exactly. This could be something where we're actually moving a bunch of developers need to move something to another uh, data center to get more capacity for development or for a production system that needs to have more capacity. So, um, and, and actually, we could probably, you know, okay, we are cut up over on this thing. So we can go and do what we call a typical migration. This is our vMotion migration, and we can essentially click through this quickly. And, and this is, we, we're telling it manually to move. But using DRS, we can actually automatically do this. So we pick the server that we're going to go to. There's some validations that happen to make sure that that server can accept this machine. And we go through all the technical things that have to happen. And we'll take the rest of the defaults. And we'll click a vMotion. So in this case, you can actually see the vMotion starting down here. And the database is continuing to run as it goes. So and as you can see the, the transactions that are happening, the, data, the server is actually traveling now from San Jose up to Sacramento. As you'll notice in the transactions that are happening here, you'll see that the, it, you'll see a slight dip in the transactions because we're physically moving a workload. But it should be noted that we don't drop any connections and the end users can still access their data. And this so is the key so technology. So there's just a pause while this magic happens and then it picks right up again. The end users see nothing but that pause. Essentially, yeah. They feel, maybe it feels like a little bit of network congestion or something. But the workloads are still there. And the really key part is, is the data is not lost or dropped. So you can see now that we've actually migrated the machine back up to uh, Sacramento. And the, the, the database has actually you know, regained its full strength and it's moving along. So to achieve this, we actually work with Cisco on this using their data center interconnect technologies. Uh, using uh, the virtual switch systems and virtual port channel technology to ensure that we have a single network broadcast domain between these data centers 
uh, that allows us to maintain this application performance. And so this is a great example of what uh, Steve was referring to earlier, the hybrid case, where they can offer essentially data center extension capabilities. Exactly. Yep. Uh, and it's not a black white issue of whether you're quote unquote in the cloud or out of the cloud. You're using the cloud as it makes business sense yes. for you. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs>